Yeah, don't mess with um because we're not supposed to deal with any other uh any other woman. Alright? The Bible is a woman, alright? And all those other philosophies are women. And if you dove into them, basically you're you're you're, you're mating yourself with them, you're gonna start thinking and acting and saying the things that that, bi that book was saying. But if this is your only woman, the Holy Scriptures, then you're gonna act, think and say the only things that's in here. Alright? Go ahead. What you just said. Uh, this is uh, Ezekiel 3 and uh, 5. It says, For thou art not sent to a people of a strange mm -hmm. speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Yep. Right? But I'm not going to know what you just said right here. Uh, it says, uh, I'm going to read it from, uh, I'm read from 12. I'm going to read it on. Let me go first. Okay, then. All right, and I'll this is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some okay. prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers okay. for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of my God. So we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High, unto the perfect, unto a perfect man, unto a measure of statue, of fullness of my God, that we henceforth be not more children talking to and fro, and carrying about in every wind of doctrine by the sight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. And cunning crashes. Hey, you know how little kids running around playing? He said, don't run like little children to and fro from all these different doctrines. Yep. They all are nothing but lies and deceit. Yep. This is the only truth. It's this right here. This is the only truth now. For the Most High says, let every man be a liar, but the Most High's word true. Mm -hmm. Alright? Therefore, if it's not out of this book, you're full of lies, man. Uh, Alright, you're full of lies. This is, uh, Colossians. Chapter 2, verse 8. Beware least any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit. Mm -hmm. after, the, after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Masaya. Mm -hmm. Traditions of men. What is that? Christmas. All these holidays. Easter. That just passed. And a lot of people don't understand when, when as an Israelite, if you celebrate Christmas, you are disgusting to the Most High, for you don't even know what Merry Christmas even really means. All right, a Christmas was what Christ. Christ means the Anointed. So you are happy, and Mary is what to be happy. So you're happy that the Anointed are dead every year, and you're giving your kids Christmas gifts. You're praising. You're you're black. You're basically saying that you're glad that the Israelites uh, uh, suffered persecution and they died like that, man. We have a high holy day, I believe. Uh, yes. In the magazine, I forget the name. Yeah, we have a high holy day, yes. Yeah. Basically, to celebrate our victory. Yeah. But they just do the same thing to us. Yeah. There you go. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. That's exactly it. Exactly. Jeremiah uh, 10, chapter 10, verse 5. What is the name of it? Myers? Jeremiah chapter 10, 1 through 5. Says, Hear ye the words which the Lord uh, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. Learn mm. not the way of the heathen. Keep What's a heathen? Anybody who's not an Israelite is a heathen. And be not uh, dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hand of the workmen with the with the axe. Stop. Now he says, read that one more time. He says, uh, for the custom of the people are vain. For the custom of the people are vain. 
you know, magazine, right? For a custom amount of people are paying. Keep going. For one cutting a tree out of the forest and work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Who cut trees out of the forest? Who use the axe? The white man, right? Who use the axe? Go ahead, keep going. Uh, they they deck it with silver and with gold. Uh, they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it uh, moves not. Stop. He said they fasten it with silver and gold. What that sound like? He said a tree cut down, fasten it with silver and gold. What does that sound sound like to you? Right. What what holiday do we do that on? Christmas. 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 Right? Right. He's talking about the Christmas tree. Ain't he going? Uh, they are upright as the the palm tree, but speak not. They must need. They must need be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them. All right, stop. He was basically saying they can't go anywhere. You got to nail it down to the floor. Mm -hmm. You can't. He's not even. So you you wishing on this tree. You have your kids wish upon this fake ass Santa Claus yep. to bring you presents that magically appear that we know not really fucking going happen. You know? He said those are the custom of the Hebrews. How can we learn about Christmas? Thank you. Exactly. But that's the only way we got taught this stuff. Because we were what? Late. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28. Now I'm going to prove again. Once again, that the name of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai is everything, okay? This is, um, Shalom. Shalom. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. The name of the Lord. Now, what did that brother say? Did he say the name was important, or did he say that the words and his actions are important? He said the actions are important, not even his words. They were debunking the Most High's words and his name. And so that, I had to give that brother, that, uh, um, 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 the Edomite-looking brother, the truth. All right? Now, I call him a brother only because he stayed here, he had good questions, and he got edified. All right? Now, if he don't continue on, then he, he, I'm going to have to abhor him as a brother. All right? But he don't look like a typical Israelite, but the things that came out of his mouth, yeah, that, that's what of an Israelite. All right? Because ain't no typical white man going to say them things. And ain't no My typical white man going to say anything about them. Oh, well, you know, uh, okay, uh, go ahead and read that. Read that right there. It's uh, Deuteronomy 28 48. Go ahead. Says, Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Stop. Who he said we were going to serve? Our enemy. Read it one more time, bro. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in what? And in want of all things. Care. How do we get to America? Wasn't they naked? Mm -hmm. Hungry? Mm -hmm. Thirsty? Yep. And don't we need the white man for everything in the society today? Well, yep. everybody in this, everybody of this, of these descent, and that's in, in America, is on what? Fucking food stamps. <laughs> and if nobody got no food stamps, how will we eat? Honestly. The rent is six, seven hundred dollars. So we have More to pay them too. nine hundred dollars. So we paying them nine hundred dollars in rent. How the fuck are we going to eat without they food stamps? So don't we need them for everything? Yep. You said we'll need them from all things. Yep. Said, and, and, uh -huh. and, and what of all things? He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. A yoke of iron. How do we, like, I, again, how do we get over to America? Enslaved us with yoke of iron on our neck. Yeah. So he has destroyed thee. Yeah. Even when we got here, they still had the yoke of iron on our necks. Right. Because certain people time. ran away. If uh, one slave ran away, they don't just punish that one slave. They kill him in front of everybody, and they punish the rest of the slaves. Oh, All right? Okay, yeah, that's the one I want to know. Uh, next, uh, I was going to say, like, the movie Rosewood. Yes, exactly, exactly, like the movie Rosewood. Like the movie Rosewood. Which one? The uh, Black Holocaust. What you got? I don't know.
Oh, okay, okay, hold that, hold that. Uh, read that. Let's do the Rodney, uh, 28 and 68. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again, which sits... Egypt, which means bondage. He said, um, I'm going to get that in a minute. Keep reading. Which sits, by the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, sh and, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Sold unto who? Your enemies. Uh huh. For bondsmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you, which means save you. Now we know Egypt means bondage. Go to Exodus 22. Uh, yeah, we'll be out here on Saturday. Saturday. Right? We'll be this out here Saturday around uh, 2. Around 2 o'clock, we'll be out here Saturday. All right? All right. Shalom. Shalom. All right. This is uh, Exodus 20 and 2. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord thy father, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So, Egypt, this is spiritual Egypt that we're in today. You know, this is spiritual Babylon, spiritual Solomon, Gomorrah, all of them. Spiritual Rome, which is Babylon. Same thing. Uh, um, so we got we wait for him to get this up. We can read that. But man, I people don't want to learn nothing these days, man. You just see everybody walking by, looking at us like we crazy. Um, I need that one real quick. Hold it for me. They think we crazy out here, for real. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, they got these crazy with these clothes on. Uh, they really think we crazy when the Lord comes and fuck them up and we go. We're going to be laughing at them because he's going to be laughing too. All right, this is to prove that there were more um, killings in the north and the south, all right? This is um, as American as apple pie. Fight Race Riots in America by Dr. Gregory E. Brown, Director, PHS, IEC. Between 1824 and 1951, there were over 300 events classified as Congrats. Race Riots. All right? From 1824 to 1951, there were over 300 events classified as White Race Right, in which entire white community, the whole community turned on and destroyed entire black community and murdered black and mass. All right, so the riots really came from who? The so called white men. And what is he worried about? You Negroes knowing who you are, calling on your power facing the East, and getting the knowledge and rioting against them. All right, nothing has ever been solved by a fucking pen and piece of paper, man. So fuck Obama with that bullshit, man. Alright? <laughs> Obama just sanctioned uh, Russia. Twice. What Russia do? They're trying to sue. They st <laughs> they're trying to sue. Why? Uh, the because they don't have no sword. Russia, Russia's trying to sue. Russia's Russia trying to sue. Russia's trying to sue. Russia's trying to sue. Russia's trying to sue. Russia's trying to sue. America's trying to sue. America's trying to sue. America's trying to send more sanctions. Yep. So what is it? It's like the Cold War. Was what that we read in school? Yep. They knocked the Cold War back all over again. The two pop cookies, tit for tat, yep. until they get real. And, but at the same time, he got the Russian troops training them to come over here to kill us. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So they think we think it's a war between them, Russia and America. No, the, the war is between them coming here killing us doing martial law. Mm -hmm. The Russian troops is the ones that coming over here. Yep. We been over the there country these fucking they up. They hate America. So when they come over here, they gonna kill every man that they see, every baby. They don't give a fuck how old, mother pregnant, like the baby. They don't give a shit. They don't care. And the most high is gonna be laughing when it's going on. They're gonna be calling on him, they gonna be laughing at him. Because they ain't getting on this. They don't know shit. Yep. They, he's uh, gonna, they're gonna be calling on Jesus. They're gonna be calling on Jesus, and he's not gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> This is, yeah. uh, this is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24. Right. Because I have called, and he refused. And I have set up my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at not all my counsel, and will none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock you when your fear cometh. 
when your fear comes as desolation and your distress is coming as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. Yep. So they hate knowledge because they they walking away. You see, like every time we go on by, our brothers, they listen for a couple seconds. Do they hear something all like what they do? They walk away. I don't even know what they're talking about. The white man was out there saying this shit. They'll be, oh yeah, brother. I'm trying to be all before him. Because the white man said, they love the white man, but they don't love their own people. You know what I'm saying? There were 26 such major events and hundreds of smaller ones, smaller ones in major cities and towns across the U.S. during the summer of 1919 alone. This period has been tagged by historians as the Red Summer of 1919. Because many of the events happened from May to October of that year, and the blood of their victims literally painted the streets of America. Now, who did they kill? What do literally mean? That's who they killed. What do literally mean? Literally. You know what? Literally painted the street, which means it was blood everywhere. Exactly. All right. Uh, let me read on. That year, tens of thousands of black Americans were killed, maimed, and 375,000 were made refugees, though never being given refugee status, all for economic, social, political, and other reasons, both real and imaginary. Real and imaginary, which means what? They lie. That means they're gonna ch they're gonna charge you to, that you did a crime and you never did nothing. You never left your mom's house, but they're gonna come and arrest you. You said that you did it. Just so they, they can that you keep. Did it. Just so they can keep their money. Now Martin Luther King. Right. Everybody thought he was a people for us, right? Oh, he saved us. He, he helped us. Give me that. All right. Now, during the Red Summer riots of 1919, a common characteristic in every case was the black American was alone and helpless when it came to protecting or defending himself and his community. Many have assumed then, as we do now, that our government was supposed to protect us from invaders from within our borders, our borders and from foreign, race, foreign nations. They were dead wrong. So all those that believe in this system and go to those field camps when they uh, resist themselves, all those that go ahead, you guys are dead wrong. You guys are going to die, man. And before it happens, the most die is seven bucks to give you the truth to let you know before it happens. All right, so if you don't listen to us now, when it happens, then you'll listen, but it's going to be too late. You're going to die. Well, I just said it. Everybody thought Martin Luther King was for us, right? He was our people. Read that. Now, this is in the uh, King James Version, Holy Bible, that all these churches in this world read. Go ahead. This is three. Jeremiah 23 and 25. Can you read it loud? It says, I have heard, uh, I have heard what the prophet said. Stop. I have heard what the prophet said. Keep going. That prophesy lies. That prophesy lies. In my name. In my name. Say, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Who said yeah. that? What's the only man that you ever heard said that? Martin Luther King, which that was not his name. His real name was Michael Luther King, not yep. Martin Luther King. Yep. Look it up. Yep. Not his, his real name is Michael. Michael. And to this day, he died as Michael Luther King, not right. Martin Luther not King. Martin. It's he not Martin. Martin. All right. That Martin Luther King, that was derived from the, um, the German uh, uh, Lutheran. No, 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 no. It's a German... Um, Luciferian, right? No, he was a, he knew he was a Luciferian, but that's not what they, were, they put on there. But he was basically a German scholar. He was a German person of, of, um, uh, of a religious descent. All right? But it wasn't. Martin Luther King Jr. was not named after his father. His father changed his name to a German's name. All right? To have that German, Martin Luther. But they kept the king because that was the last name. Mm -hmm. His real name was Michael Luther. King Jr. King Jr. His father changed his name too, so his so his son could also have that junior on him. Alright? Did anybody bring that out but us? But the Israelites? No. So that proves that the Israelites are the ones that's keeping out the truth. And everybody and all your teachers. Every professor. 
every college professor, every doctor in the God State doctrine, you're all liars. Right? Doctor means uh, falsify. falsify. That's what it means. Look, that's, that's what, what it means. means. Doctor that's means falsify. falsify. So they don't even know what they're doing. They just say, oh, we take this bitch. That's all they do. <laughs> they we take this cancer. Now, we take this bitch. Now, now they say, falsify. That's now what it means. They say in, in their, um, um, their little commercials now that if you get sick off of a drug, even though your doctor prescribed it, you cannot, cannot sue your doctor. But you couldn't get it without his prescription. But good. you can't sue him now. <laughs> you know, yeah, what's, what, what's your descent, so you bro? What's your descent? You have to turn to see your father. father. You're, you're Spanish? <laughs> huh? What are you, Puerto Rican? You're, you're Puerto Rican, okay, so you're from the tribe of um, Ephraim. You're an Ephraimite, which is... Uh, oh. You're an Israelite, that the Bible speaks of. You're not whatever else they told you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay. Um, no government military branches were there to protect them. The National Guardsmen would join the rioters and shoot blacks too. Many just looked the other way because they had they hated niggers too. Or they came in time to put out fires, mostly in white sections of town or white-owned rental properties in the black neighborhood only. All right, the police joined and aided the white rioters. So when this riot comes out, do you think that the policeman is going to help you, or do you think the policeman is going to shoot you? They're going to shoot you. All right. So before you get shot, the Mosai says, "Come into the knowledge, and I won't let them. I won't let them kill you." But if you don't come into the knowledge of your true identity, you will die. <laughs> Alright, you got another one? I'm about to cut this off. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the religion? A lot of people don't understand that uh, 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 Senator Chuck Schumer passed a law, uh, uh, he calls it Avante's Law, alright? It's a law in New York which proves that the Constitution's done away, alright? Because it's not a law in California. This is a law for New York, alright? Avante uh, means on forward, alright? What does Avante mean? Avante. Forward. Alright? <laughs> to get ahead. Get on in the world. Forward. Full steam ahead. So what he was stating with his law is full steam ahead with our program. Their program is what? The Mechanic Eye Chip. Alright? Which means everybody's going to get chipped. You're going to take the chip in your hand. Take the chip in your forehead, take the chip in your uh, side, take the chip in your ID, take the chip from your credit card, take the chip from your snap, take the chip just to get on the bus, take the chip for everything. Alright? And before that chip actually really, really gets implemented on a mandatory, because right now it's not made mandatory. Right now it's just off of your choice. But once it's made mandatory, if you are not an Israelite, you're going to die here. Alright? If you were an Israelite, you would get salvation. But salvation is for the Jews of Israel. Alright? But if you're not an Israelite, in spirit and in truth, you will die here. That says the Bible. Alright, now we play a game. Can anybody tell me what this means? You know? Okay. This is the father and the son's name in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh, which is Yahweh. The last H is silent. Okay. His son's name, Yahweh. 
Shai Hai. Yahweh Shai. So this doesn't have an A, so that's what this one does. And when they're connected, it's S-H-I, so it's Shai. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right? Now the Assyrian is going to have it like this. This is the way of the Assyrian heat, okay? And the Assyrian says that his name is Yahweh and Yahshua. It's not. It's still Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right? So the Assyrian Hebrew has it wrong. Let me get this so up. all those that, uh, that speak that uh, 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 uh especially that Yiddish bullshit that those so-called Jews speak. All right, that's not Hebrew. All right, that's a that's a, uh, a made-up language between Assyrian Hebrew and German. Okay. Read this. What? Uh, this is Acts uh, seven and forty-eight. Listen to this. He says, "How be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands." As said the prophet, heaven is my throne, earth is my footstool. Stop. He said, how be it, the Lord does not the one the temple is made by him. He said, heaven is his throne, earth is his footstool. Okay? Keep going. What house will he build me, saith the Lord? What house can he, what house can he build me, saith the Lord? So what house on this earth can he build the Lord if he made the whole earth? Keep going. Uh saith the Lord, oh, what is the place of my rest? So what is the place of his rest? Where he said is his throne? Where's his throne? So where his rest is? So how can you build a house on this earth coming and saying that this is the Lord's house? Right. Give me uh, 17 and 24. This is, the, uh, this is King James Version of the Bible. Same one everybody in church is free. They just don't read it. Okay? No, That's basically what All right, now this is Hebrews. Chapter 9, verse 11, to piggyback off my brothers, right? But Yahweh Shai, through the world victory falls Jesus Christ, being come and high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this built. Therefore, the church is not a building, it is the people. Okay? For the Most High does not dwell in buildings made by hands, but the Most High dwelleth within you. Because you're an Israelite. Now, if you wasn't an Israelite, you most likely would not Right? So we are the church. I got another one right here. Acts 17, 24. Yes. Acts 17, 24. Yes. Yes. Yahweh made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, as well as not in temples made man. Well, that's another precept, man. He don't, he don't deal with these churches, man, at all. But where we're going to church and think he uh dwelling in there with y'all? He's not in there, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all in there with Satan. Yeah, the friends are That's what y'all dwelling with yeah. the church. You guys are dwelling with um by our you know who by our pray for y'all little whatever y'all praying for and then y'all get it. Y'all think it was the most high? Was it the most high? Yeah, it's the most high. Yeah, it's the most high. Yeah, it's the most high. How do I deal with it? No, 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 no. The thing is, we need to stop, stop thinking. The first thing. I'm not talking about years. I'm talking about within like two, maybe three. All right, basically, is. The first thing is to understand that who you are. That's the first thing of breaking down out of their system. The second thing, stop calling yourself black. Call yourself a Judah. Because that's your nationality. Alright? They took away your nationality and gave you these. And then they took these away and gave you a byword. You're not even a Negro anymore. You're black. Read that, read that real quick. Hold on. Now we don't get back into uh, the red. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, 